to another Minecraft video inside of my PvP world. So as you can see, oh, for any. So anyway, guys, as you can see, we are on my PvP world again. And before I get into any thing else but before i get into what i want to do today um i just want to show you this so on the map this is the biggest thing so as you can see when this map loads up the thing i am looking at right there in the bottom corner which actually i am going to point to that I think. Well, I'm the that white thing. So that all that that I'm looking at, which uh, wait one sec, guys. Here we are. There's a point. Oh. So guys, if you look here, that is me the. And I am looking at all this. Can you see what I'm drawing around? That would descend. It's a sick real gulas. <laughs> but all that. No. Smaller is probably better. Yeah, so that exact thing that I'm looking at, all the. is the. Cop Minecraft Cops and Robbers mini game. So, yeah, guys, it is nearly fully built. Uh, basically, I'm just going to give you a little look at it. So this is it. So you got the trees around the prison. And before we get onto the prison, you got the bit where you come up. You don't have to walk up anything, but that's to get to the bit where you park or down. And this is the ship. So there's the ship. And when you step on this to finish, that's off fireworks and that. So, yeah, the, the ship's done, and most of the prison's done. So, if we just have a quick look in the prison, and we go through the roof. There it is, you got them. Obviously, nothing behind. But, if you come through here, we've got the dining room. Come up here, we've got the basketball court and stuff. And you've got the way up to the tower. Then on the basketball court, if you come up here, it'll lead you onto the little ledge here that you can parkour off if you make it right. I can't believe I failed that, but when you go like that and then you're off. Uh, it's got the bit up here, which will lead to the library. But I'm not showing you that bit yet. So if we come down... If anyone knows cops and rubbers, the bathroom's right here. That's from when you en exit. Oops. Oh well. Because I'm not saving this, hopefully. But I'll put it back just in case. Yeah, but the toilet bathroom is in there. Then you got the kitchen looking onto the dining room. And this part's more like the older version. So you got the stairs up without the thing then you've got the storage room which isn't like that anymore you've got all the solitary which is all down here and i'm missing a lever but oh well then you've got the boxing ring before the warden's office the warden's office looks really close to this but it shouldn't be and yet you just go over here step on the back of the fresh plate but i've not made it like doing anything yet but i will and then you've got the library I've just made a different version of the library. You got the ladders there, then you've got the ladders there. Then when you're on the top over here, what you do is, uh, yeah, when you get to here, you've got to go around, pull the lever because it weren't working with the button. You can try and trap people. I don't know if it works. Nope, it doesn't work. That leads you onto the roof where you run and then you can get to here and then if you're good enough, this is how I do it, I jump into here 
and then what I'd do is I'd wait. I'd fall down onto here and then so on. So yeah guys, that is basically the prison. I've just got a bit more to do. But today we are gonna play We are gonna play Let's think what should we play? I'm joking guys. What we're doing today is Well wait Um one sec guys Your screen's not lagged no <coughs> Right Um, if we go over to, uh, here, because I'm on my own, I'm only playing thing, but I'm going to try the parkour, because I've not done the parkour for ages, and I only go on the parkour when other people are with me, so I thought, why not do it now, so, um, survival and yeah let's get into it so this is what happens uh, I built this ages ago so it's a bit different um, the first part I built ages ago quite a bit of it but some bits are more newer not that new at all though guys but the newer than other parts so yeah but it gets it, I find this bit and that bit and then the bit after this easy, but then that, and then uh, the bit after that one room is a bit harder, but then it gets just hard, which I can't do in one go. I don't know if I can do this in one go. I think I've done... I've never done the whole parkour at all in one go. I think I've done this part in one go, but I never think I've done the full parkour in one go, because... The last bit is too hard and I can't. I've done every jump on it. Because I made sure I did every jump on it. Because I wanted to say I've done every jump on it. But. I've never done it all. Because I never completed the full last. Bit. Because it was so hard. I want to actually see if like Preston plays. Can do it. Because he's a good. At parkour and. It is hard. Ah, can't believe I failed. I was quite near top them. Yeah, so it's not that hard as you can tell. A lot of people find it hard. It's basically, it just gets a bit harder each time. So like, you got these simple, easy jumps across, which I keep failing. But I'm not going to skip any of the first... I say that, I'm going to regret this, but yeah. I don't know how I failed it. I've just lost it now, but oh, I keep hitting the corner. I'm not doing this right, right. You guys are probably getting dizzy like I am now. Right. Yeah, and then it gets harder with a bit of ladder. A bit more ladder. And then you got like around the corner a bit onto a one block though. And then you do that on a two bot and you just got a simple old one with a bit of a head banger and you got that and then you gotta get round the corner there you gotta get round round the corner a bit up up jump and then this one can be hard because you gotta push forward and go like that but it's not the hardest and all i'm gonna do is just go to bed set my spawn Normally it shouldn't get night, but if it doesn't, because we've got set days and times, we can just change it. And then, this bit's probably the easiest bit of all. If I ever failed that, I'd feel sad. And then this, you can just do it by looking at the wall and running forward. Or double tap like this, and then you just change. Or you can just do it diagonal on if you're alright at it. Now this is easy. Just go on, and then you go flick, flick. Flick, jump, flick, jump, flick, jump, flick, jump, flick, jump, flick, flick, jump, all the way to the top. And then let's just take campfire. And let campfire needs to be on here. I'm not going to use it, but it needs to be on. Not this part, 
Like this is the bit that I said the room that gets a bit harder, but not too hard. It's the bit after this that I'll need it for. Oh. Every time I normally do this, apart from now. I can't do it on this fire on. I like doing parkour in this fire on. But I never do parkour in my videos, but I'm quite good at some, especially this one. I oh, know, I normally do this one. This one I normally get first time, I don't know what's going on with this. Ah, uh, sorry about that guys, my dogs. You ready? Finally I did it. And this is why it gets hard guys. You ready? I need some nipping creative here, and I need to water bucket. Right. This is why it gets hard. This one I'm going to use checkpoints, but. I'm not going to have it as like checkpoint as in thingy checkpoint every certain block. I'm going to do it to whatever block I fall off I can go back to. Because this one is a lot harder. I bet Preston players and all that could do this easy. Eh, I might just do that. Right. Oh, that's better. This one is hard. Oh, wait, no it isn't, not this one, another one. Most of these jumps I changed because I think they changed it so you couldn't do all of the different jumps because there were some that I couldn't do so I had to change in this. Oh, for God's sake, I'm missing like the jumps so bad. I'm actually doing pretty good on these laddie jumps for once. I don't normally do this good on them. I haven't they killed to that one before? I don't know. I'm going to try and do at least five without falling. Alright, that failed already. I'm going to keep the rest of the lava though because it's a bit of light. No. One. No. I didn't make that one, did I? I think I did. So, are you ready? One. Failed it already. One. Two. Three. Four, simple, five, yes, six, seven, eight, and now I've just made that look so easy, I made that look so easy like it weren't anything, and I've just been telling you all like it's really hard, and then that's just looked so easy, and most of you are probably like that is easy, but yeah, I used to find it hard, I must actually think it's easy now. I'm actually going to do this last jump again. Oh no, it was from this one, but oh well. There we go. And then you just basically, you come out back here near like hide and seek and stuff. And how long is left? Alright, I'll do a quick brief route of hide and seek. Even though I've done it all before, so I know it all, I'm just going to do a preview of it. Because I don't think any of you have seen it. This I added way too much loot on at the end, I shouldn't have actually added that. But it's still looks cool, especially the star. Have you seen this guys? And everything you've seen so far is all been built by me. Most of the stuff here. So basically it's just hide... No, no. Not hide and seek. It is... Special keeper level 2. 
is oh yeah it's hide and seek you know where like you gotta find the differences what's it called it says it on the door spot the difference that's it but you got two things and you gotta spot what are the differences and i know them all anyway guys so i'm not gonna write them down uh one of them is the painting there and that painting are different um that skull is a wither and that's a thing the next one is there's no bed there and there's a bed there the next one is the wither skull isn't there and the wither skull's there and the last one's the colour of the tents and this one is ten differences and this one is i'm going to step back well in a way so it is the cobwebs there and there it is the melon there it is the height of the glowstone um, it is the bed is missing the torches on different places there's a melon in the emerald and then there's the cobblestone and i don't know if i missed any there's a jack lantern missing out there there's a piece of ice there and in the wall there's a piece of grass uh, leaves then the next level is through here this is the last level that i did but ignore that bit that's what i found out what went wrong it's an upside down house they are the differences here are on the floor there's a piece of wool them leaves are different from them leaves uh, the cakes are actually turned upside down one flower's yellow one flower's finger and the colour of the stirs in the roof and then at the end i put way too much loot as you can see it still looks like a cool floor beacons but i put like a full set of armor which is what i'm going to change it just to because otherwise it is way too op but because the thing is i've got to run them all these give them all these in case they like horses give them them to celebrate with and mess about give them pigs and stuff what i should give them is what i've got them now and the pearls and that should be it i've given them all them and golden apples probably all them and all these so yeah anyway guys uh yeah this has been fun in a way so i hope you enjoyed my What's it called? I hope you enjoy my parkour and yeah guys I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.